Welcome back to Learning Knockout JS. In our last section, we saw how to implement custom bindings, custom functions, and extenders. In this section, we're going to preview some of the advanced things you can do with Knockout JS. We'll create and consume a Knockout component as well as a custom element. Then we'll explore Require JS and how it can help us to load external templates and components. And lastly, we'll take a peek at Durandal and how it's used to create single-page applications. In this video, we're going to create a knockout component and see how easy it is to consolidate a view and view model into one unit. Then we'll look at how to implement that component as a custom element. Let's start by adding a new view and view model to our project. I'll name them component.html and componentViewModel.js. Now add a new folder to your project called Components along with a new JavaScript file called ColorList.js. A knockout component combines a view model and a view into one unit. To use it, we need to register it to Knockout's Components object. The component is given a name and defined with an object literal that contains two properties, view model and template. The view for this component will display an unordered list of colors so we'll define what we need in our view model to support that. We'll also add a method to show a JavaScript alert when a color in the list is clicked, so we'll add a function for that, too. The view model definition has an optional params argument that we will use to pass in a function from our containing view and view model. That way, we don't have to define problem-specific functionality in our component, but rather leave that up to the containing view. In our componentViewModel.js module, we'll add our method for showing the selected color. In our view, we'll use Knockout's component binding to name the component we want to use as well as the parameters we want to pass to the component. In this case, we're assigning the showColor function to the component's display function. Here's how it looks in the browser. Now let's use Knockout's custom element feature to render our component. There really isn't anything more to do to the component or view model. The custom element feature is built into the component. Switch to the view and use the component name as the tag name of a new element. You can optionally add a params attribute to pass any parameters to the component. These parameters can be observables, callback functions, or any simple values that are needed in the component. As you can see, the functionality is the same. In the next video, we're going to look at require.js as a way to load templates and components.